What's guys, Boyle96 HD here. We are back with episode 7, I think it is now, of Packs to Division 1. This is the series I do with Elden Era 90. We started off, we opened 75k worth of packs. We tried to get the best team possible. We could with that 75k chemistry uh, kind of getting into it. We kind of had to get the best possible if we wanted to win, really. And uh, we're going to try and see who can win Division 1. So most of you do know that, but if you're new to the series, don't forget to check it out. I'll leave the playlist or the playlist will be on my channel even. But anyway, we do go into the first game here. And he's a really nice team actually. A 4-3-3. Given chemistry isn't that good. But he does have a lot of individuals. Pirlo, Dumbia, Giovinco with the pace. Hummel, Sakio, Sanya, Alaba, Sirigu and Nets, uh, Arda Turan. There's a lot of good players in this team. But it didn't take me long to uh, get Arna Tovic on the ball. And to go 1-0 up. His goal to game record is absolutely insane. I've scored too, too many with him really lately. You have to try him out if you haven't. You really do. I know I lick his bollocks seems to be every episode lately, but he scored. My, my team is Arnatovic at the moment. Arnatovic, Sam, and uh, Ben Arfa are absolutely doing fantastically. This guy gets a cheeky little cutback goal, but uh, it needed to be for him. I was winning at this stage. He needed some way back into the game. Pedro started it off for him, and then a couple of minutes later, he got a second one with Arda Turan in the 46 minute. So that was unlucky. I didn't really want to lose this game. I wanted to try and get a draw at least out of it. I knew we had a really good team, but I thought I'd be able to do this with Arnautovic and whatnot. So he comes down the wing, he cuts in using that four-star skill, Ronaldo chop, and once he gets around that eight-yard area, six-yard area even, he's not going to miss it, and he just taps it in so neatly into the corner. There's no chance once again for the keeper. As you can see there, Sam to Arnautovic. Arnautovic, people just aren't tackling him, so he decides to take it by himself, plays it through. Ben Arfa, game over. Uh, I think that's what, 5-3 now, or 5-2, 4-2, I'm not really sure, yeah, this makes it 5-2 here, a dirty little tramp, and finished off by Arnautovic again, so we get three points on the board in the first game, and this episode was really, really happy, Arnautovic scoring, I think a hat-trick again, was it, he scores for fun at this rate, and uh, we win that game 5-2, so that does get us the Division 3 title, but we still need to get promoted by automatically, like, so anyway, we do go into another game, um, you're getting into that stage now where I know I'm not going to get easy games. It's, it's, it'll be, it's impossible to get starter pack teams coming into the top ten of Division One and coming into Division Two, and this team kind of showed it. Julia Cesar, Mariano, Dede, uh, Santana, Alexandro, Ronaldinho, la 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 la, and then the front three I think were Neymar, Wellington, and Kelvin maybe. I don't know, but anyway, I went one 0 up and I was like, right, okay, just keep composed. Try and hold the ball. Try and do something with it. Just do, do not let him fucking get through. Uh, he, I kept him out really, to be fair. I done really, really well. But he got into the 50th minute. And the class just shown. My keeper went to chew his leg or something. He fucked the ball. He didn't really want that. And Wellington uses his good finish and his great pace to break to the fence. And does make it one all. Or 2-1 even. Sorry. I must have forgot to put in one of his goals. Apologies. But it didn't matter. Because after it just turned into a rape fest. And I've never been so pissed off. And I've never hated so much on Neymar. That was 4-1, 3-1, 4-1. He just kept scoring and I just couldn't be dealing with it. And then, great, I scored a bit too late to make it fucking 4-2. But Arnautovic gets himself on the clean, or goal sheet again. Goal sheet? I don't know. On the fucking goal scoring? I don't even know. He scores twice in that game once again. And uh, unfortunately, it's a loss. We haven't had one of those in a good while. But we did lose and I could not do much about that, lads. But anyway, we do now go into another game. Uh, I wanted something decent. I need some chance to beat people here, and it's really getting hard lately. But this guy has a 4 5 1 BPL team. Reina, Sanya, Terry, Ferdinand, Avra, Ramirez, Benarfa, Nazri, Santi Carzola, Jorvino, and Loic Remy. I was like, are you absolutely fucking pulling my Mickey? The only chance I thought I had in this episode was the fact that uh, he had John Terry and Rio Ferdinand, and I had Arnautovic, Sydney, Sam, Benarfa. And uh, this guy goes down, plays it through. Nasri 1-0 after. How many minutes have I guess? Yep, two or three. I, I was not looking forward to this game. But I seriously, I just put on some music. I really did put the game face on. I knew I needed three points. I did not want to lose two games in one episode. I haven't done that in a long time. But as you can see, he just runs through, runs through, runs through. And have you ever seen such a bollocks goal? I really have never seen such a shit keeper. As in Al Habsi, I think we are having it still. Whoever I have in, he's absolutely shit. You think, to, you think they let me pull somebody like the hay in a pack or something? 2-0 down. I really, really wanted to draw this game. And out of which goes down. Uses his great pace. His great skill and strength. And gets absolutely fucking cleaned. 
Your man does there make it two yards. Or, uh, he gets the penalty and your man only gets a yellow card, unfortunately, I think. But Ben Arfa is not going to miss. He hasn't missed a penalty so far, if I'm right. And uh, he does duly do that and finishes that to make it 2-1. So we had about 30 minutes to get another goal to draw the Seville. Great pass and move here. No doubt it ended in a small bit of a tramp. But you can understand how I could tramp it in this episode. Uh, after that last name I game, I was raging. Going 2 0 down, I was even more raging. And the ball comes in. And who do you think it is? It's Arnautovic. Boom. That is another goal for him. I can't believe it came back from 2-0 to 3-2 in this episode. I've never been so happy to win a game or so fucking... I don't even know what. But you don't laugh. I've seen that too. I did not just hit that into my own net. Don't know what happened. I tried every button in the fucking world to clear it. It just it just went in. He just wouldn't kick it out of the defence. That made it 3-0. And then I absolutely tramped the bastard again. I wasn't losing. I tramped him. No lie. Carlos Alberto. And to finish off the game, I brought on Charles and Zogbia. And he did not miss from there. And Jesus Christ, I was the happiest bunny to win this game. And Zogbia wins that game. We win 5-3. And that does win us Division 3, as you can see. So Division 3 has been conquered, lads. I was so, so happy about that. That game was one of the hardest I've played so far. And uh, I've never been so fucking happy to win a game. But we're going to our pack of the episode. And as you can see, who did we get in this pack? We do get Thiago. So hopefully, new Manchester United player. I'd be really, really happy if he does come being a United fan. But nonetheless, he won't fit into the team. But he will be able to uh, bring off a sober what. Uh, 3 4 one, 2 card, I can probably put that on one of my centre-backs, so I'm pretty pleased about that. But otherwise, lads, it's a meh pack. There's a few decent things in it, Thiago being the best player. But if you have enjoyed this episode, please do not forget to leave a like. The response on these, I know a lot of you do like them, so it would be class if you could leave a like and if you could hit 100 or 200 likes. Don't forget to check out El De Niro videos. Go down, or El De Niro's video. Go down and check out his. Leave him a like, leave him a comment, and tell him how much better I am than him. And anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a fantastic day as usual, and goodbye.